Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your web apps using Firebase Hosting. It's really one of the good service through that you can have your website up and running without having to manage the server, configuration for the servers, and then even the domain name, storage, everything is managed for you. And today we'll also see about the preview channel which is the new feature got offered for Firebase Hosting. So let's start with Firebase Hosting. I just need to click on the Get Started and it will show me the dependencies which I need to install. So first call this npm install Firebase tool because this requires Firebase CLI. The next step is Firebase Login. Now this is a really important step because it needs to understand that the set of projects which you have and uh, on which project you want to get started with. So with Firebase login, you give an authentication to the Firebase CLI that it can list down all your projects. It can upload the security rules, your hosting, or a set of other things that it can do. Next step is Firebase init. Now this is really an important one because with this, you are going to add all sort of dependencies which are required to upload this to the Firebase. And finally, Firebase Deploy. That's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to host the app built using Flutter. So this is the app which I've built. It's nothing but a simple feedback form which asks for email address, overall experience, all techies, topics, recommendation, get featured, and a button to upload this back to the either cloud storage or any other platform. So currently, it's just a dummy form where the object is to show you how I can make this up and running. Also because as this is built using Flutter, so the first command which you need to be called is Flutter build web. It takes a bit of time, so I've called it initially and you can see that it has compiled the library and this is going to create a build folder for us. That folder, we need to upload it to the Firebase. So this was all about Flutter. Now let's come back to the Firebase. So the first step was to install Firebase CLI. I already have it. So I can directly use the Firebase command here and do check the version because as I said that we are going to see the Firebase new feature. That's nothing but the preview check. It works with the version 8.12.0 and the current version is 8.12.1. Okay, so now let's get started with Firebase init. So Firebase init is going to initialize the Firebase project. It will ask a set of few questions which we need to answer, something like what service do we want to get started with? So I'm going to use Firebase hosting. And also I need to select the project. So I'm going to select the instinct project and it's just showing me the one project because I just have this demo project currently, but if you have more than that, it's going to list on all of them. Just select it and hit enter. And the directory which I'm going to use is build slash web. And that's because this app is built using Flutter. And the moment you build with Flutter, you get all sort of dependencies and the index in build slash web folder. It's a single page, so why? Currently, I'm not setting up with any GitHub actions so no and I don't want it to override so no for this also so that's it now this is ready and Firebase initialization is done the next step is to Firebase deploy so what I could do is like Firebase deploy either I could say something like Firebase deploy or if I just want hosting then I could say Firebase deploy only hosting that's it. The moment I do this, it's going to give me the URL and I can just run that URL on any browser and you'll see my website is up and running. Just by taking this URL, web.app and run it on. I have my web page up and running. Well, this is really very straightforward. You have your Firebase project, you want to get it up and running, so just initialize with Firebase and host it on the Firebase. Now this is going to give you the public URL. 
So how about if you want to do certain changes and which you do not want it to be available on the public channel until and unless you want it. So for that we have something called as preview channel where it's going to give you the temporary URL which you can give to anyone who could test your web app. So for that what we need to do is that we need to call Firebase hosting colon channel colon deploy and I could say like real one and that's it. What do this going to do is that it's going to give you a temporary URL which will remain active for the next seven days. And this expiry time is something which you can change also. Here you could see it's a temporary URL which will remain active till 19th October. That's because the default time limit here is 7 days. And here you could see that this part is the site name. This is the channel ID. And this is the random hash. So one thing is like, say I do not want this to remain active for 7 days. I want it to just be for say 1 hour. So what I could do is like, I could set the expiry. So I could say something like expires 1 hour. If you want it say in minutes then you could specify like 10 m is for minute. H is for hours and D is for days. So here 1 D means it's 1 day. So I want it for 1 hour. But now one thing is like this is random hash. Is it like the moment I update it once again do I need to change the URL manually or automatically will it change? Well in any case this URL is not going to change. That's because the ID that you are specifying here it's real one as this remains same so it understands that you are trying to update the content so by this way you can upload all sort of changes which you want and you need not to redistribute the URL so let me hit enter and now the same URL will expire after one hour okay so here is the URL now let me do one thing let me run this URL And you'll see the same web page which was shown before. So this is the original site and this is the preview channel. Now when to use this preview channel? This is really useful if you want to have multiple variants for testing and then eventually you want to be confirmed like everything is working well. And then you want to have this live to the audience. So now I have one and uh, in case I want to have a bit different variants then what I could do is like I could add say a card for all the questions and I want this to be of the rounded shape border radius circular C12 and let me also add the shadow color the amber not just this let's also have a bit of padding Now let's have this up and running. Okay, the next step here is again to call Flutter, build web, and once this succeeds, we are going to create a preview channel once again, but this time with different IDs so that we'll have a different URL. Okay, so now the build is ready. 
let's deploy once again using the same command firebase hosting channel deploy the expiry will remain same as one hour but now i am going to change this id from real one to say real two and because of this now you'll see it will give me a different url and what i could do is like i could share both the urls with the testers and they could see, do all sort of testings or i could even do a b kind of testing where i'll have both up and running and then finally could decide at which one i should push to the live site so here i have the second variant of this page so let me open this page here you'll see the same screen but it's going to have card so it's the second page and this was the initial screen with no card and this with card now say that i might have shared this with the testers and testers might have liked this kind of screen which is having card as compared to the original design and this is something which i have initially posted it with the live site also so now what should i do so here we also have a concept of cloning which means that rather than again hosting it on the live site if i'm sure that i want to upload this particular preview channel to the live site then i can clone it to the live site so for that we have the command firebase hosting colon clone and here it requires the site name so the site name which i'm going to give is this because this is the default site name which i've got initially while creating this project and then the id for me it's real2 real2 if i want to clone the previous one then i would have given real1 but i want to clone it the second version of it and i've created it with id real2 so i'm giving that id real2 space site name colon life that's it so now what it's going to do is like it's going to clone the site whatever you were seeing with this temporary url to the live site and by this way you need not to manage the code once again because you know that your code your website is up and running very well with this url so rather than again touching the code base you could just clone this website to the original live site let me run this one so initially the live site was containing this page without any card and now it will be with card so here it is so that's it in this video where you have seen how to use firebase hosting what is preview channel and how you could clone the preview channel to the live site so that's it in this video if you have liked this video then hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel so as to get this kind of videos stay tuned for the upcoming videos and thank you